Hi everyone, I'm Caelan Burrows and this is a briefer history of the past. The New England Confectionery Company, also known as NECO, was started in 1847 when Boston pharmacist Oliver Chase created devices that could cut candy lozenges. Popular early confections were NECO wafers and scallop-shaped shells called cockles that contained messages inside written on paper. What child wants a candy that's named and shaped like an ocean mollusk? Wait, they, they didn't... They didn't taste like the sea, did they? In the 1860s, Oliver's brother, Daniel, created a machine that could stamp letters directly on candy with red vegetable dye. These confections were much larger than the sweethearts of today and could accommodate much wordier messages. Some phrases popular with court and couples were Married in satin, love will not be lasting. Married in pink, he will take to the drink. Wait, those aren't romantic at all. In fact, they, they sound like wedding dress propaganda. Oi! That dress shop across the street is killing our business with those colourful wedding dresses. Not to worry. I have a plan. Ring up Neko right away. <laughs> In the early 1900s, the shape of the candy changed to hearts, and the smaller size became increasingly popular, which also shortened the sayings on the candies. While staying simple, the short phrases changed over the years to reflect the times, most recently with such things as tweet me or text me. Really? What's next? Netflix and chill? <laughs> what? Well, yeah, of course I know that wouldn't fit. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when more Briefer History of the Past videos go up. Be sure to check out next week's full episode of A Brief History of the Past, all about the history of Valentine's Day. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the future.